Welcome everyone to another episode in the Perspective Drawing series. In this video we are going to be learning about vanishing points. In the previous episode we had taken a look at the horizon line and now that we are familiar with that it's time to cover something of equal importance, vanishing points. A vanishing point is a point which exists on the horizon line. It can be placed anywhere and changing the position of these points will create different results. This is because it is a point of convergence. Now before we go any further, let's discuss some basic terminology that you likely know already. Parallel. This is when two or more lines are alongside each other but do not meet at any point. No matter how long they are, they will never come in contact or cross each other. Perpendicular. These are lines which meet at right angles. Diagonal. A diagonal is a line which connects two vertices when they are not on the same edge. The term is also commonly used to describe any line that has a slant. Okay, so going back to what we was previously discussing, a vanishing point is a point of convergence in which the receding parallel lines diminish. This is what gives our drawing that three-dimensional appearance. It is also evident in real life. A good example is to stand in the middle of a straight road and notice how the sides of the road seem to head to one point on the horizon. The centre line of the road would go straight forward to that point and the lines at either side will angle towards it. That point of intersection is the vanishing point. Everything is diminishing as it converges further into the distance. This is the effect that you are generating when drawing. You need vanishing points to be able to accurately place what you are drawing in a realistic space. Without it, everything would appear flat. There would be also no way to gain a sense of scale and distance. We are able to add multiple vanishing points in order to create different drawings. And as you probably guessed, the more vanishing points, the more complex it can be. You've likely heard the terms one point, two points and three points perspective and all that means is the amount of vanishing points used in that drawing. We will take a look at each of these more in depth in later videos but for this brief introduction let's take a look at some images in two and three points perspective. Here we have an image in two points perspective. The horizon line is here and then we have either side of this building converging to its own vanishing point. Now this road to the right has a slight incline so it appears as if the bottom of this building isn't converging to that right vanishing point. Inclined planes are a whole of a subject for a later video, but notice how we can't see these vanishing points. That is because they are away from the image, so let's zoom out and see where these points are on the horizon line. Everything in this image converges towards them, but you'll commonly find that when you are drawing, your vanishing points are away from the image, meaning you'll have to estimate a lot of that convergence. So next up we have an image in three points perspective. This is taken from the ground looking up at some buildings. There are two vanishing points placed apart on the horizon line, similar to two points perspective but there is also a third point away from the image as well, and this is placed either above or below the horizon line. In this case, it is placed above. As the buildings rise up, they are directed towards that point, and so, as always, they start to reduce in scale. They are all converging towards this third vanishing point, and I know this might be confusing because I said that all of the vanishing points are on the horizon line, but don't worry, we will cover that in a later video. So let's finish this episode off by drawing a simple box in all three perspectives. For each of these examples, I'll place the cube below the horizon to the right. This will give you a good idea of how the vanishing points affect our view. Here we have one point perspective, with the vanishing point placed in the centre of the horizon line. For two points perspective, the vanishing points are placed at either side of the horizon line. Now for three points perspective, well we have two at either side of the horizon line and then we place one away from the horizon line. This might be confusing but we will cover it more in depth in a later episode. This is just an example of how vanishing points change the appearance of the drawing. There is a lot to get into and we will take it one step at a time throughout this series. Thank you for watching this video, if you enjoyed it then please leave a like. Be sure to subscribe with the notifications on to stay up to date and if you have any questions feel free to comment below. You can also find me on various social media, all of those will be listed in the description. That is all from me today, I will see you in the next video.